Apparently I had two hours left. So, let's try and finish this. However long this game takes, that's how long the stream is today. Thanks to Sub B, Provost. Yeah, maybe I'm only like 30 minutes away, or maybe I die a million times. I feel like I'm really close. You're getting jacked at the gym while watching you? Nice. Which Pokemon are you gonna play? I'm gonna get Sword. I was undecided on which one to pick. And then, um, I looked at like the Pokemon exclusives and I didn't really feel, you know, anything about either of them. Except one of them has Sir Farfetch'd with like a giant sword, which looks kind of cool. So, I'm not gonna get both. ID. All will be so I'm gonna go with sword. All clear. I don't like any of the way that I don't like the way that any of the starters look. Honestly, fire's probably the best looking one, except it's kind of like a furry thing, so I'm not gonna pick it. Also, I never pick fire. So I'm gonna go with water. Nah, you gotta use the starter, dude. You got to. How do I feel about Game Freak? I think people are overreacting. Whenever there's a game that's been in like existence for such a long time, like there's gonna be a shitload of bloat. So I read a couple reviews and it seemed like they just got rid of a bunch of bloat. Like people are like, oh, they got rid of side wave. It's like, who fucking cares? They got rid of a bunch of moves that nobody cares about. And people are just looking for a reason to get fucking mad. I want to see how many likes I have. How many likes do I have? Make your guesses. A cool 150k. Yeah. Thanks for so giving me a potato. Bridges. Yeah, people do love being negative. It's because the people that are excited about it that aren't saying anything, you would never know that they're even there because they're just silent. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize this started streaming at 110. That's poor timing. I think we'll be alright though. Because we were fine yesterday. This would be fucking really terrible if I didn't have a fight. Don't kill these guys. 110 is when my stream always dies randomly for reasons we don't really know or understand. It's a scientific marvel. You know, I'm gonna miss this game. It was pretty soothing just like driving around all day, delivering packages. It's kind of like sorting your mail. Like, if you think about it, it's boring, but it's satisfying when it's all done. Are you fucking kidding me? No! Why would you roll, you fucking idiot? Who the hell does that? Alright. 
the one thing we can't do is get this package wet. And what does he do? He jumps right off and gets wet. I like how there's four of these things and it's still easy to dodge them. I still want my bike back. You don't ever fight there, you just run away. There's no reason to fight them, especially since there's four of them. Like, I could dump maybe 200 bullets into one to kill it. So is it better for me to just sit there and just... And the thing is, like, if I'm stationary and shooting it, like, I'm just more of a target. So, like, I probably would take damage if I do with something like that. Lou loves it when I jump. I'm on chapter 12. We're almost done. If you guys plan on playing this game, well, I mean, if you plan on playing this game, I don't know why you'd watch because it's literally like a game, game, but. Bikes, OP. Bridges get you the likes more than anything else, except maybe some really well placed, like, zip lines and time fall shelters. And speed skeleton is the best. Okay, this we might actually have to fight. I'm not sure. Thanks for sub. Hey, why are you MCF HP hard points? Thank you. Give me a potato. Thanks for sub. We're going in. I gotta defeat the BG, really. Well, I have uh, this thing. We still can't get wet. So I'm gonna bug it in the building. But first, I really should pick up these two guns. Okay, good. Now we're gonna drop. Um, I'm gonna drop that. I'm put this in utility. We'll drop this. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a genius is Virginia? One? What do you mean one? As in like he's the most genius, right? Yes. We're doing it. We're doing it! I think I have to shoot him in the mouth. Cause this ain't doing shit, man. Well, it's gonna take a while, but it's kinda working. Splashing with monster. His weak point better become apparent. It's gonna take a while.
Really? He drops me a shotgun? Are you kidding me? What in the fuck am I gonna do with a shotgun? Those gold spines on his top gotta be how we deal most of the damage. It's got to. I'm not jumping on him, that's a bad idea, man. Chapter 12. Need some deadlift shrimps, I appreciate it. You know, we are doing a surprise amount of damage. Keep the spines. Uh oh. Watch out for that. That's cool. I need to get this blood bag. Don't fall. Keep giving me stuff. It's not the shotgun. No, not a riot shotgun. Dude, he gives me a non-lethal shotgun. What a troll. Need to. Where's the baby? Blue. It's okay. Wow, this is gonna take a while. It's not wet because I haven't fallen on the ground. It's okay. <laughs> I tried, Lou. The baby's angry. It just makes me sad, it makes Chad sad. You don't want the baby to be sad. Jesus, that was close. Please tell me you didn't about this. No. No. Well, those are decent. Oh, we got three bags that are empty. What the hell is this thing? I just see a crab. Come on, bitch. Yeah, that's right.
We might want to go to that guy. Depends on how much blood we need. How is this thing so stealthy when it's massive? There he is. I'm gonna start just unloading. I don't care. Okay, we need to get more blood. I don't care what direction it is. We just need to start using our ammo. We have a ton of guns. That needs to be equipped right away. I'm gonna go for that building. It would have been really shitty if we got stuck there, but we're good, we're still good. Let me see him. doing damage slowly <laughs> yeah very very slowly That gold stuff, the problem is he's always oh fuck, how much health do we have? I can't use blood ammo against this thing anymore. I don't have any blood bag. Like we're just gonna die. I guess I could because we're at 300 health, so it's like fuck it, why not? Because when we go below 300, it just like automatically fills you up. Nah, I only have six slugs, I'm not gonna do it. Like, you see how it slowly brings us up? Ah, fuck, you can't. You can go to 250 and then that's it. God damn! We need a nice person to hook us up. We need someone to drop some shit for us. Guy now spent so we got for sure. What am I doing wrong here? Like what can I do differently? Let me scan. Maybe I'm missing something. Blood bag. Where we must go. 
Also this guy. And this guy maybe. How do I not see this fuck? Sounds bad. Fire, fire. Me up, dude. Need a blood bag. Not an anti BT handgun. That's crap. Now what we're doing is we're going for those bugs in the blood bag. I wish he'd open his mouth near me. Come on, do it. Dude. That was good. Maybe if you're in the mud, then he like gets ready to chomp you or something. Oh shit. <laughs> Yikes. We lose. My gear is gonna be wet. So like even when I come back, it's just gonna tell me my gear's destroyed, I think. Is that, does that normally happen? <laughs> yeah, gold is bad. I understand that now. Gold is very bad. Let's get these things now, so we don't have to fuck around later. Also, we know the weak points. 
I don't think we just want to like randomly shoot it. Because I'm going to end up wasting blood. Why am I still playing this game? Because I'm like two hours away from beating it. There is no fucking way I'm 15 hours away from being in this game. You must have no idea where I am. Come on, die with me, bitch. Tell me that. Okay, that didn't ruin anything. I must calm down and avoid you. How come I can never see this fucking thing? I don't know where it is, so I mean, I might as well just sue the baby. Yeah. He does that so nonchalantly. That did so much damage. Hook me up! I'll take that, that's not bad. Keep throwing stuff at me. Give me that too. There you go. Alright, I have enough shit that I'm just gonna start shooting at him. But regular bullets. Okay, it doesn't do anything, never mind. That's not good, man. You left an hour ago? I started streaming 30 minutes ago. You guys just say stupid shit. This is my second monster attempt. Nope, don't want that. Speed skeleton, maybe. Oh wait, it doesn't matter because it's not battery. He's gonna hurt me. While we're doing this fight, we want to make sure that we keep getting a bunch of bugs. Because judging on the last fight, we are going to need so much blood to just kill this thing. It's going to be ridiculous. And I should be using one weapon until it's done so that I can just ditch it afterward.
I know the quad launcher is better, but like I'm not gonna have enough ammo for it. As in, I'm gonna have to use pretty much all my guns. So like now, I can just dish this. And I only have grenade launchers, but that's fine. How has he hit me with that? So many times. Every fucking time he tries that, man, he gets me. Throw me a blood bag. Thank you. Matic grenade, sure, whatever you need. What if dying in this game put you back at the very beginning? That would be awesome. That would be true Kojima genius, and it would make you feel for uh, loss, for sure. I like it. I'm gonna get hit by something. Come on, man, don't let him kill us. All right. Still good. I need high ground. This is some Rezero ripoff? What's Rezero? I like how many blood bags you've used already. You got him at like half health, right? He's gonna do that shit that always owns me. Oh my god, he's at like 75%. Have you tried shooting his red glowy parts? A lot of the time, if I shoot him, we want to shoot his yellow stuff. Or inside his mouth. But like, you see when I shoot him, it just makes it red. So like, his red glowy parts are just areas that I've already shot. The problem is, he doesn't give me a lot of clean looks for like, the top of his back. I think what I'm just gonna do is just start doing what I was doing before again, which is like, we have enough blood, I'm collecting bugs, I might as well just unload all the ammo, we got a, we got a ton of shit. Just start shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. 
think that's what I'm gonna search for. I think this game's good. I like this. Well, I like this. I just am not done with it. I know I'm close to being done. Are you taking a trip down Australia to play Pokemon early? Nah, I'm not doing that. There's probably a lot of other people that are doing that, but no. I'm just gonna wait. I'm cool with waiting. It's not going anywhere. Oh, he's doing his shit! I think if you do enough damage to him, that he doesn't do his, like, damage phase, and then he starts running away again. Because I swear, he was, like, right above us, and then he just decided that he didn't want to attack when I swear he was going to. Time. Thanks to sub Danosaurus Rex. Appreciate you. Thanks for doing this chair. What is a chair? This red thing I'm sitting on. I love this chair. It's a great chair. Thanks to 350 Addist. If you do everything perfectly in step second, you might be good in a, around eight hours from now. Yeah, all right. We'll see. Kinda sucks because we only have two assault rifles. But uh make it work. So close. If I don't finish the game tonight, will I finish in the future? Yeah, I'll finish it at some point. But from what people told me yesterday, everyone in chat either said I was 30 minutes away or I was two hours away. I believe two hours. I could use like one more weapon so bad.
Because I don't think it's going to be enough. to offload. <sighs> uh, I kind of want to save my bugs still, but you're right, we should eat them. How many bugs do you think I just ate? I ate 24 bucks. Damn, dude. This shit does no damage. I need a real weapon. I need to get that blood bag too. The baby's so sad, we we have to... We have to save our baby. I don't blame it, man. This is some freaky shit. Wow, that was stupid. That was so fast. We're gonna wait until he surfaces again. This is such a bad time for the baby. No, 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 put the baby away. Put the baby away. Put the baby away. We're not even out of fucking building anymore. I think he just decided not to fuck with me there. This is gonna hurt. Look at how close we are. We gotta make these thematic grenades count, I guess. Oh shit. Don't do that. How do I follow mode? Holy shit, 30 minutes.
What do you mean, thanks mods? It's just me. Dude, thank... Thank Kojima for not screwing me over in this section. Because, like, I've fallen in liquid so much, but it's not penalizing me, thankfully. Okay, we need to get to that rocket launcher, and then we went. Can you type spoilers? I'd really rather you not, since I haven't beat the game yet. My biggest problem there was I had to cross a huge amount of shit. I don't think I die, I think I can just move and be fine. I think the only reason I died last time was because I stayed in stone and did that thing. Yeah, he did that thing. Change the difficulty setting. Look at how low he is. Why the hell would I change the difficulty setting? I have a super grenade ready. Ready the grenade, Sam. What are you doing? What are you doing? He doesn't want to take it out. There we go. Pancakes since 20 months. Climbing, I think it's 13. I think it's a Teddy Spaghetti. Look at our stamp. It's actually like. No wonder I had to drink my canteen. No wonder I, no wonder I was going so slow. Yeah, let's get the baby. Oh, I always forget. You have to go into like some weird menu. Baby. We're gonna be here for a while. I wonder if I shake really fast. That's too fast. That's too fast. Chat, look at the bar in the bottom left. I want that to get the max. It's 
so happy. How hard can you shake it? If I shake it too hard, he starts like jittering. You see that? You don't want to go like that. I'm gonna play Pokemon tomorrow, but this is the only thing I'm streaming today. I have 150,000 likes. Why do you? Why is he upset now all of a sudden? Water. What's so special about the baby? The baby is like the most special shit. It's like, I don't know. They talk about it like it's super incredible. We don't know exactly what's so special about the baby because it's been super secret. I think that it, this isn't gonna make any goddamn sense, but I think the baby's probably the extinction entity or me, or we are the baby. And it's like a small Sam. Because there's no reason why they would wait so long to explain who the baby is. And they were like, maybe Amelia doesn't have it. So, I don't know. How will you shake the baby on PC, VR? I did it. I ran the whole way here. Why would anybody put rope? This isn't even where I'm supposed to go. I'm not gonna make a trike. I don't even think I can, because everything's busted, so... Like, this entire way, I haven't been able to make anything. I've just relied on, like, what people have dropped me. I can't believe Clint's gonna finish a game on livestream. You know, I beat Luigi's Mansion, like, a week ago, right? Also, one thing that I regret while playing this game is that I never really picked up Creobites. You can carry 999 of them. You might as well just like stock up like crazy amounts. Probably just end a chapter, but I want to see what it is. 
Yeah. Hundred fifty thousand. Sam, you're back. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team, diehard men too. Dude, you can't trust diehard man if he's back. Are you kidding me? Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells, effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? He's being looked after in another room. In a cell? Rich's personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward. Similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. <sighs> Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Sam, you made it. Thanks. Just feed her like 300 of those. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? Anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Sam's here. The great deliverer. The only one who can reach Emily's beach. Uh, oh. You're in no condition to do this. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in my own search for Amelie's beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary, but Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole. A whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. You may be okay. able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beat, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? <clears throat> this is only a theory, but... She wants you, wants you to go to her. That's her final wish, don't you think? So that's it, huh? I'm only she wants in this to be. Game. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece, I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. That about right? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though, quite frankly, 
I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her... You'll save the world. But you'll be stranded outside. Yeah, there will be some weird Perhaps. bullshit reason why I get out of it. Connected to her, Might so well make it official then. You ready to deliver the package? That's that's the thing that binds him to Emily, because she like gave him as a present. I'll talk to her. Hey, where's your hat, dude? Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still. If it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit. Well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever, not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. Thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. I'm probably gonna fight some dragons and monsters. my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. I wonder why fragile cared about us like right, 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 right at the beginning. I started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. I never knew I could get so much plot development if it means you never come back. from delivering boxes. Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't. Don't bring the baby. Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kids done enough. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse our little one back to health. We're gonna come back like super aged and Lou will be like a fucking tiny Sam. Still be a baby with, but with a beard and a little ponytail. Okay, concentrate. Help me look for Amity. Reach for her, Sam. Dead man Feel is the name her. of the tribute. Can we love her? She's such a she's such a jerk. <sighs> it's boy, thank you for the sub two months. I appreciate it.
So we're probably the extinction entity, and she needs us. So she's gonna be like, I couldn't have done it without you, Sam. Ha 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 ha. I'm a baby. I am. This is like Bioshock Infinite. I swear that video game companies just keep remaking the same plot over and over and over again. What was chapter 12 called? Bridges. Oh, that's right. I don't have an Ogre deck. Dude, what the fuck? How is this not the right way? I'm gonna jump on these things. Maybe it's like... You know how she took us to the left that way, and then we ran into what's his face, Die Hard Man? Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. I really don't feel like this is where we're supposed to go. I'm gonna go back. As much as I do kind of want to see if I can, how far I can get doing that, probably not very really good. And in 
bridges falling down falling down falling thanks so joe cool appreciate it 37 months a long time i know that they said that there was like one weird thing that they when they were doing like that huge info dump on us when we were running back there was like experiments under london bridge The last stranding has already begun. Homily? Bridget. You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Die hard, man. mask this whole time. Why is she such a cold bitch? Why did she want to... You were supposed to stop me. Stop all of this. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been. Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist. Not in your world. I'm sorry, Sam. I've had to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. I mean, Guillermo did say that he's never seen him with Emilio right. ever. I'll tell you. Emilio, whatever. Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget? Those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, you have two choices. I was getting shot one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. 
So, that brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me and bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together with me until the last flame wings out. so bad, does it? I don't like that choice, man. It's not like the world has long left anyway. Kojima ripped off Evangeloin? Nobody cares about anime. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this Kipu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. <laughs> the very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. It doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. <sighs> Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. Sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain, knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. Still have a chance to stop this nightmare. This seems kind of. You brought the world together. Kind of stupid, in my you opinion. Have the right to decide. So I can either kill everybody Hold or kill her, and nobody's dead. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. But wait. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Sure you do. Just shoot her. After everything, how could you not? That's not good. Where's my strand? Uh. I'm here for you. Always. Like you were for me. That's so sad. Shot her and then hugged her. Here. It's a dream catcher. That's so sad. Wear it when you sleep. Bad ending by accident? Away. Everything's gonna be fine, we'll chat. Always be with you. When you're all grown up, you'll need it to make us whole again. And when the time comes, you'll have to stop me. You are the only one who can. Promise you'll remember. Well, I didn't remember that conversation Sam, at all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I remember. You knew. You always knew. I did and I didn't. I had so many dreams of the future. I didn't know which ones to trust. 
Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning to me. I am not a line. I am a single point. Which is why all I could do was just show you choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. life one day at a time. Thank you, Sam. I don't know why we have so much affection for this chick when she didn't even exist. She lied to us the whole time, and she's an extinction anyway, which means that she brings the extinction of humanity. This should be like, she should be like our arch super ultra enemy, like, I don't know why we have so much affection for her. We make it seem like we're like best buds. The world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. And I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in, come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam. Why did you start this in the first place? I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. If she is Princess Beach, then Sam should hate this bitch. That's what an EE does. my job. None of this would have happened. But I, I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. She's your mom? Sounds like hell. Yeah, but it's just a game where it's like, I never even, the only stuff I've seen from Bridget and Amelie is how much they lied to me. But you so like it's just like she's your mom. You have to love her. You just have to. I haven't seen that part. I haven't seen the part where I connect with her and grow up with her. No, it's just like you're supposed to love her. Just fucking love her already. It's a tough choice because you love her. Because I tell you that you love her. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. I don't care, dude. She wants to end humanity. Why the fuck would I give a shit? She's gotta go, dude. She's gotta go. It's an opportunity. Like, nobody's sitting here crying like, wow, dude, Emily really betrayed us. She was my favorite character. It's like, no, she showed up in a hologram like three times. To be the price for that. To be the sacrifice. And so be it. Like, Metal Gear Solid 3, when you have to fight the boss or whatever her name is, that's sad. That's deep, because she was all over that story. Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Chad, remember she's pregnant. 
and I knew it would be important. Ogan won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. Well, I used all my bullets. Mads Mickelson was his name? I thought it was Mads Madsen. I bet I'm not supposed to walk in this and I get a bad ending. Yeah. Well, at least they didn't get a bad ending. Five dollars? No, there's no media share. But thank you for five dollars. Is that it? There's probably still another twist in the bag. The credits during this long ass run is meant to make me feel like it's gonna end, but there's more. There wasn't enough Shyamalan twists for me. I, there's gotta be more. I definitely hit her with some of those shots. It just, like, you couldn't hit her. She just, like, dematerialized. It was like she was a hologram, not really there. Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again, and again, and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. As I have today. I don't have any bullets left. Is this a real Aunt Jemima? Thanks for the night, Musty. I think the baby is Hideo Kojima. Written by Hideo Kojima. Assistant to the writer, Hideo Kojima. Character design, Hideo Kojima. Character design, Kyle Cooper. <laughs> My man.
Who's the guy that made dead a Die Hard man talk so goddamn much? That's who I want to know. Whoever, whoever's the Die Hard man writer, you sicken me. Holy shit, he just never stopped. I'm gonna sneeze. First operation. I was only twenty. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. Thanks, uh, look at Sula. At the moment I came round, I was back. So I guess they're like life is flashing before our eyes or something. Two worlds. Bridget. My ha in that one. Amelie, my ka in this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Amelie Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. <laughs> you just finished the prologue. Amelie. If they make me walk across the whole continent again for soul. to carry something, I'm gonna be pissed, okay? I better not have to. A soul that's a lie. A there lie. There is no Amelie. Only me and me the beach. lie. I thought it was a curse in the beginning, but later I started thinking. It's pretty Maybe pathetic grammar this. right there, dude. I tried to find out more about the beach because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. Kojima has said the same thing over and over again for three hours. Don't question him. I think that I would care so much more about this if I cared about her character more. Like, shh. Like, I don't, I hate Die Hardman. He's just fucking annoying. And I care more about Die Hardman than Emily. Like, Emily was barely in the story. And when she is in the story, you see her like controlling Higgs and like backstabbing you and like trying to end the human race. It's like. She's a traitor, dude. <sighs> Trippy Tago, thanks for the 12 months. I appreciate you. It doesn't make any sense, man. I know she's Bridget, but like we only saw Bridget for how long, too? And she was just like some weird lady that was on the on her deathbed. Just got online. Game is telling you to run the other way. But I don't want to run that way, I want to run this way. I'm black and white, I think, because I'm underwater. I'll look at the XQC thing later. You think the beach just loops? I think you're right. of every organism that had ever lived. 4 run towards land? Of biological history. Do you think I'd get the same cutscene if I ran towards land? The creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. 
By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America She likes to talk, but out. we have to finish this game, dude. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the This is like Monica. So I started researching bridge babies, children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded Bridges, more determined than ever. So she was researching the Bridge Babies so that she could try and figure out how to the stop the sixth extinction and then ended up just doing it anyways? The weaker I became, my heart had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe. For not playing We're along. almost certainly the, the baby, baby, just based on the way that she's talking. And then, just like that, but maybe my not. awe was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve, like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that She's gonna say something really important in the middle of this, too. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. No, that, that background is the beginning of the game. But somehow, life... There is no way I'm skipping this cutscene. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. If she talks three hours, I'm you know, sitting here. I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living, stronger and wiser, inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. I might make a sandwich. Extinction is an opportunity. That don't make any sense at all. She's clearly lost it. Only four more chapters. I'm gonna try and run this way. Let's see what happens. What are your five must-buy PS4 games? Gotta get Bloodborne, gotta get Until Dawn. Um, I don't know, I really haven't played that much PS4 games. I guess I heard Red Dead Redemption 2 and Spider-Man are good, and then you could get, like, this game. But this game comes out on PC. I don't know. It just depends on if you have a PC or not. I don't think I'm supposed to watch this way. PS4's got some good games. Hey, when does Last of Us 2 come out? Does that come out and I just wasn't paying attention? Because that's another game that people are... Like, I'm not really excited for it, but I know that... 2020? Yeah, God of War is really good, too. I'm 
Until Dawn is on PC, Red Dead is on PC, Spider-Man, you can emulate, Bloodborne is Resident Sleeper. DS is coming to stream, or Steam. Oh, you're talking about this. I thought you were talking about Dark Souls for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna play the new Pokemon tomorrow. But I'm not gonna play it during the day, I'm gonna wait until nighttime. This is so weird that I keep having to run left. I think he's gray because he's like underwater and his skin is all weird. But I don't know. I pulled the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. Oh, fuck. There you are. <sighs> Little tiny blue baby. I think Sam is the baby, but they haven't said yet. And for him to actually be the baby, we'd have to jump through like a crazy amount of hoops to get there. But I think Kojima can pull it off. You want to go home? Let's go home. I want it. I wanted to set you free from death once and for all. It's okay. I know the way. But in doing so, I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. Wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, a death stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch So we died, and then she tried to save us, and then in saving us, she made us a patriot, which fucked slow. the world up. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here she made me a part of her. Okay. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE -E doesn't have that option for itself. But in my nightmares, I saw another future. One that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation.
It's not over, right? It's like it's really trying to convince me that it's over, but I just don't want it. I don't, it, there's. So are we stuck here and I never leave? Eventually, you can't hate on movie credits, it's not a big deal. Like, anyone hate on this game for being pretentious for having movie credits? That's stupid. There's so many other pretentious things about it. I don't think I can go in one. I still have no idea if it's over or not. I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. Like, maybe I'm supposed to go in the water or something. Probably not. I think there's definitely gotta be a little bit more. Cause like I said, there wasn't enough twists. And it's... It's gotta have another twist. It hasn't slapped me in the face with like who Lou is yet. I think it's gonna do that. It's what's up, notice Blue Liam, hope you have a good day, man, I appreciate you. I'm gonna run left for like another hour. I just want you guys to know that. Yeah, for real, dude. God damn it. I don't have the gun on me. Well, I technically do, but I can't use it. It's probably gonna make me kill myself.
turn into a fish and swim away. I don't know, the run animations are weird in this game. I can't even equip anything. Can I pause? Wait. Can't jump. Here we go. A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. Thank you for seeing me through two credits so that I could finally kill myself. That's great. Two sets of credits. I would like to reconnect. Oh yeah, I used every single bullet. You're fucked, dude. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff <laughs> together again. There was something I wanted Should've you to know. Just saved bullet. You were probably. never abandoned, and you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. More credits, please. Hey, there's stuff out there, though. It's, that's a progress. I think it's gonna represent, the, they always talk about the five. Like, the five extinctions or whatever. Am I even getting closer? They see me. He's over there. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Should I wait? I never go in the water. Shouldn't I, like, end this game with just a bad ending when I do that? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we're doing here. Oh, shit! How did I miss you? God damn, I, like, walked right past her. Give up. You're still connected. I knew I had to go in the water. Hey! 
My two favorites. We are the blue baby. That's a lot of holograms. How would I rate this game? I want to finish it first. I think it's a good game. Even if this story ends in like a complete, you know, nonsensical mess and they, I'm not left super satisfied. I still think the feel of the game is cool. And I kind of like doing the packages and stuff. He's in denial, not in denial. For too long, I have think we Sam's lived as baby. strangers to one another, divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now, with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today, we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new yeah, nation it's pretty for smooth on PS4. I'm on Reddit. United ready. Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Who would ever follow a, a president that had a skull mask on? Surely I would. That'd be pretty awesome. That's not Will Smith. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. The old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past. An enduring shadow. A constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. Sam did everything. He did a lot, but he didn't do everything. Each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, we carried hard, but we didn't do everything. Despair. <sighs> we will endure. President, Bridget Strand and her daughter, Vu, thank you for the Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we, the people, might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. The name is unimportant. 
You know who I mean. And he's talking about Dylan Tora. He's talking about Lou. Message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great. Now, we're friends. I would like to know how we brought you back from the beach. We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. I thought she was using that or something. It didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We Lou, looked for dude. a month with absolutely nothing to Lou show. Lou is connected to me. How did it take them a month outside. to... How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. So he was on that beach for like fucking years and years and years and years. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. How did Lou not help and us? Bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochna via their connection. He was on um, confirmed your location Amelie's beach, his subsequent which is on like a higher plane than the others. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Amelie, hmm. she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. How did the gun start the whole thing? That's one way of putting it. Oh, Sam. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now... Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the president who used him for most of the... Wait a sec, why does that guy look familiar? The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Yeah, oh my god. Turned out so I know it's Die Hard Man. Others, it's so obvious. Dear John, donned the mask and reappeared. They're just the making it identity. seem like but they've explained this to us in the past. They explained this to us yesterday. Records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The president's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him, but I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later.
Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Unger. I would tell you I did it for America. We actually saw the cutscene for this already. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please. Let me finish. I think he's attached to Lisa Bridges. He. The captain saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hardman. Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home, every time. And I... loved him. As much as I... loved her. John... And when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? Why didn't he? He couldn't save us. His kid, his baby, and that's what brought him back. I guess when he, he saw I was trying to do my part for America, he remembered who he was. And he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! John. There is no atoning for what I've done. Damn, God! No. <laughs> John. 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 But maybe, maybe this is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. He wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Thank you, Sam. <sighs> mm. 
No, I don't think he told him to kill himself. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Are you kidding me? The decommissioning order finally came through. Oh, can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. I thought you might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. Yeah, do that. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing. Now that we're a nation. Dude, Die Harmon would give us a pass. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. Oh my god, you know he's not gonna incinerate this baby. We're going into the mountains with this baby. You better not incinerate this baby. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right. Absolutely. We're gonna live in a shack with Lou. Remember when you showered with this man? Yeah. Hey, some 300 Raider Joe, I'm not. How's the weather? Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry. I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait. There's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Well, fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. <laughs> Even worse. I'm fragile. But not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Want to come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. The same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. 
I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. He's got a lot of friends. I don't know why he's being so edgy. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people. With us? Everything I touch, I lose. He just lost his baby. Sam. His baby is gonna be fine. Trust me. We're gonna take him out of this thing and live with the baby. I still think the baby's gonna be fine. You still haven't peed? Look at the map, which is kind of annoying. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna pee when we get up to the incinerator.
Sam. A foundation. A bridge. Brought you an astronaut. Mankind can go anywhere, even out of space. You'll be out of there in no time. And the second all this is over, I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. We've seen part of this before. Avoid out in Manhattan. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were the husband. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save Vivi. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Is this a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me? Yeah, the mask really isn't like selling your point here, lady. Duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. <laughs> Why the fuck would you wear that mask? What is wrong with you? Jesus. Taking care of babies in a hospital. The president gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes. Make the mask a little bit nicer than that skeleton. Five minutes to talk off the record. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president. To protect her and the country at all costs. Lisa Bridges is Sam. Now, if she orders me to do something, <laughs> I have to do it. I have to. Somebody's Sam. <laughs> I served under I don't know who. First. And your family 14, doesn't deserve chapter this. 14. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. Thanks for sub mood, Cecil. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt. They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll That's serve fun. as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir.
Oh, he's gonna have that gun. to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. The system won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. set to go off if she flatlines. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, tops. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. This guy's not put in a very good position, man. No wonder he went so crazy. She's like basically dead. I think she's in a coma. Take care of him. I promise you. Promise you. My hand, Melissa. Dude, you can't, you can't put the baby in the incinerator, Sam. You can't. Even though I know I have to walk towards this objective to continue the game, I know you can't put this baby in the incinerator, dude. It's not dead. He said I could take it out and maybe the baby would live. Why would I not take the baby out? Oh, 
I can just stop playing. There better not be a choice here that I just don't realize because there hasn't been a choice in this game. So... Clint has to save first, just run away. I'll save. Fuck it. I already know that this isn't gonna do anything. Let's just run away together, maybe. Dude, I'm just leaving. Nobody's gonna catch me. I can just live with the baby. But I know we have to do this. Exactly, exactly. How to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. Do it, dude. Are you kidding me? Take him out of the pod. How could you even think about this? He takes him out of the pod. He takes him out of the pod. You know he does. Why would you not at least try it? Like, there's no downside. Just take the baby. Yeah, that's right. Take that that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Yeah, but it's already dead, so you might as well try it, dude. between the beaches and shit.
Run away with the baby and give it to Igor. I'm sorry, Captain. Don't! You got it! You two! Stay there! And hold your fire! This plan was shit? Yeah, it was. Sorry, Lisa. I screwed it up. I've ruined everything. This room is off limits. No one goes in. But he's in there, sir. I saw him. You saw him. Now deck the other way. Go! Yes, sir. No. Open it up. He's inside. Move, Don't worry. It's okay. I'll always be with you. See the sunset. The day is ending. Let that yawn out. Oh, chat. Sad Pepe's in the chat, dude. I don't think this is gonna end very well. For Mads.
Oh, the baby. When I found out I was gonna be a father, I was so scared. Scared of what it would mean. Dude, how many bolts does he take? Uh, Holy shit. I made the same mistake. Be yourself. Be free. Oh my god. a bitch, man. Just like any other cliff. A dead end. No way forward. Nothing but an obstacle. Looking on at the world people like you were trying to build. Dividing people was the only thing I was ever good at. Take the baby and run, dude. Is this Cliff loves me.
That'd be me too. No, 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 no. Bridget really is the worst bitch ever. And they tried to make it seem like she's just so perfect and we were so sad at the beach. At least with ours, Adorexi. No, Chad is not the baby. Sam is the baby. And I control Sam, so I am the baby. You guys are the whales. Wait, but the baby just died. How is it Sam? Kojima, dude. Thanks for sub, Winmo. Sam. There you are. So she went to the beach to find the baby that she had shot. Brought it back to life and created BTs. I just wish Bridget wasn't such a bitch and like had to try and make, try and study babies and like do extinction shit. What a jerk. She's like the most evil shit ever. For like no reason, she's just ridiculously, ridiculously evil and tries to end the human race, sacrificing babies. That's like the whole point of being an EE. Yeah, but it, I don't know, it's just weird. How does an EE get elected president anyways? Thanks for that, Widmo.
So Lou and him are different, though. Come on, Lou. Wake up. But he was the baby in those flashbacks. Come on! Don't let the undead core be built. Thank God you shook the controller. <laughs> wow, that was a close one, Chad. I mean, when they have the chance to make it be like a will it, won't it, it's always gonna come right at the end, dude. It's always gonna be like... So there's no more time to fall? We're all good. That's gotta be the end. Yeah, Sam was the original baby, so we thought that we were seeing the memories of the baby that we had, but it was actually us, which is kind of crazy. I thought it was a good game. Post credits scene? Yeah, I'll wait, even though I've already seen these credits twice. See it third time. I thought the gameplay was alright. It definitely takes a little while to feel like it gets better. Like, if I feel like our, like, let's say, three to seven are kind of shitty. Uh, the way this story is told is a little bit, you know, like, they really eke it out with, like, the drip information, and then they give you a fucking shitload of it right at the end of the game, and just like, there it all is, man. So I don't know if I'd feel comfortable, like, recommending this game to too many people, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good game, and I'm glad that I played it. And yeah, they definitely talk way too much at the end, but it's still good, and for a video game story, I think it's a really good video game story. Yeah, Dire Man talks way too much. Give it like an eight. I enjoyed my time with it. I, I don't finish like a ton of games, so for me to finish this game when it's so long, definitely means I enjoyed it. I don't know how many hours. I idled the console, so like, It felt like maybe slightly under 30, or maybe a little bit over 30, around around 30. 
It's gonna tell me, but the thing is, I never turn my PS4 off. So I played this over five days or six days, I think. So I played it over six days, and every single time before the console would go off, it takes like an hour to go into sleep mode. So, oh, I said it's an eight. I think it's an eight. I don't know if I'd recommend it to that many people, but I enjoyed it. It was fun. I actually kind of like doing the boxes. I wish gameplay wise, like, the, uh, the writing is a little bit too long-witted, like, they repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again, which is kind of stupid. Uh, some of the characters in the game have, like, 15 lines of text when they really just need to say, like, one thing, which is kind of stupid. Um, I wish that there wasn't so many, like, bridges and zip lines to help people out. I wish it was more like a solitary experience. Like, the concept of the game, in my opinion, was like... Okay, imagine a game that's about like climbing Mount Everest and you know, it's like, oh, you might fall. Oh, you gotta be really careful. If it was a game like that, it'd be cool. Instead, I was like Skyriming up mountains with my fucking bike. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I, I don't know. They should have, and then if I'm not Skyriming up with my bike, I'm just like going from like zip line to zip line or like doing dumb shit. Like they should have, they kind of dropped the ball, I think, on like that gameplay aspect of it, even though I, I still think the concept's actually kind of cool. I probably should have limited myself and not used the bike, but dude, it would have took me like hours longer if I didn't use the bike. You streamed it a little under 32 hours? That sounds right. Sounds like nitpicking. No. <laughs> it's not. It's not nitpicking. The gameplay definitely had its issues, man. Anybody who gives this a 10, I feel like is being like super generous. Like this game definitely had its problems, but it's fun. I liked it. It definitely has its problems though. And people are always so much more generous like right after they beat a game. Like give it a month, see what people really think. I don't think my opinion's gonna fall off that much. Cause like I said, I, I beat it, I still have fun with it. Um, thoughts on the ending? I thought the ending was good. I didn't expect, I expected them to pull some weird bullshit where Sam was the baby, but I didn't expect it to be a different baby completely. So that was a little surprising. My biggest issue with the whole story is how it tries to build you having some crazy connection to Bridget but your character Sam for some reason forgives her for like the million shitty things that she does. How does the eternal entity become fucking president? Like she makes it seem like she wants to end the world and then for some reason her love for Sam like changes it. I don't know why Sam would change her mind. It's so weird. She's the weirdest part about the whole game. Did they explain why snow on people's faces didn't age them? No. Because it ages my gear really bad, but I think that's just like a stylistic thing. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, but like Sam has a bunch of snow on his face multiple times in the game and it doesn't age at all, which is weird. The Death Stranding's unavoidable, Sam just delayed it. Yeah, but like, I don't know why Sam was like so forgiving of her and just like, yeah, I totally understand. You want to end humanity. I get it. It's okay. You make a lot of sense, mom. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? And apparently she has no choice, but then in the end she does have a choice. She basically started the whole thing and then just decided like right at the end she's like it had to be this way but I guess not. Let's just stop. So that's that's like my only gripe. Um still think it's a good story. There's probably a way to explain it that makes sense. I'm sure there is. It just from like initial impression that just felt really weird when she was doing it. They didn't, it didn't prevent the extinction, it delayed it, they state that. Yeah, but she decided to not go through with it.
Like, delaying it for a couple hundred thousand years? Big win in my book. I mean, shit. You really think Earth is gonna last a couple hundred thousand more years? How about that? So I think this is a win. This is a big win. It's basically like, yeah, shit, let's just ride it out for another hundred thousand years, dude. Time doesn't affect her, which is why she probably forgot about significance. I guess that makes sense. I'm fucking pissed there isn't a global stat of how many monster energy drinks were drunk. I can't believe there's not a big thank you to monster in this game. It's pretty dumb to just end it down. We all know we're gonna die eventually, but we don't want to kill ourselves because of it. Obviously stopping it or delaying it is pretty much the same thing. Yeah, exactly. I feel you. Thanks for two hours nems. Sorry, dude. Thanks for two hours, though. Hope you enjoyed the game. Thank you to Sub Ripley Store. What was Higgs? He's a dick. He's like a red herring. Trey Baker played Higgs? Yeah, but I mean, like... They just kind of forgot about Higgs in the end. So I was like, what about Higgs? He was just a dick. Played by Trey Baker. He did a good job. He was an interesting character. You can go to Higgs' base in free room mode. Oh, that's cool. Favorite character? Chat, what's your favorite character? Thanks for said wheels. Can't say baby. Otherwise I'd say baby. I'd probably do Cliff. I think that uh, it was, what was the one moment that was like, you do the Vietnam cutscene and then Sam is like, I think he just wants his baby back. It's like, oh, wow, dude, wow, oh my God, really? Oh my god, was Louis a girl? Lou was a girl? Oh my god. Insane. Does it say monster? I don't see monster. Thirty-three hours, fifty-one minutes. I'm not sure if that counts the idle time. I think it does. My VOD time was thirty-two, but I mean that's basically the same. Total water ingested: twenty-eight thousand eight hundred eighty-six milliliters of monster. That's not water, dudes. That's monster. Good shit. Okay. My BB connection level, I didn't realize quick enough how, uh, oh, 153,000, dude. That's pretty good. Let's see how many people beat the game. 2.3%.
What's the platinum trophy in this game? Anyone know? I don't know how to check that. Uh, so maybe there's another cutscene? You guys are saying not finished yet? Fuck. Play it again? I'm not gonna play it again. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. There's another episode? Holy fuck. Are you kidding me? Why did I have to watch the credits three times? This better just be like endless mode or something. This is post game, right? Oh, thank God. Holy shit. If there was like actual important stuff after the third cutscene, but I feel like they answered like pretty much everything. Well, look who's awake. Morning, Sam. You'll be happy to hear your vitals have stabilized, and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ah, not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready. When this guy's done talking, I'm in the But at least one of us is still free as a bird. You should head out, make the most of it. Could even do some orders if you wanted. Might do you good to get back. I wonder what that game. other gun is. You may recall it was raining buckets back when you left for Amelie's Beach. We took a real beating at the time, but we've done our best to service the structures and vehicles in the area. This is where so I built you know, any cargo that was stored in your private locker at lots the of bridges facility in Endgame. should have been transferred to your private locker here at this distro center. Anyway, busy or not, we'll still be on the end of the Check line. Check Monster Energy stocks. And if you want some alone that shit took off after the game did it. Just make sure you're back in time for the big day, all right? See you then. Chat, what's the big day? Hey, Sam. You sure you don't have any unfinished business? Oh, the presidential inaugura inauguration. Dude, why the fuck would he put Lou back in the thing? That we were. I'm not gonna check the clip. I wanna end stream. Oh, this is two weeks earlier. I see. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to sleep. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. I'm gonna play Pokemon probably tomorrow. And next game I play will be Pokemon. Probably stream tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Like I said, 8 out of 10. I think it's a good game. I had fun. I hope you guys had fun watching it too. And I don't know. Numbers are kind of stupid. I had fun. I thought it was a good game. But thanks again, guys. Have a good one.